Good afternoon, everyone. It is afternoon because this is 12 p.m. Um, as usual, I'm just going to give a couple of seconds to allow most of our attendees to come in before we start a business of the day. Uh, but even as they keep coming in, just want to use this little time I have to say hi to each and every one of you. How has your day been? How has your month been? And how has 2022 been? You know, we are still at the beginning of the year. I hope you guys are making use of the year judiciously. Uh, how is the weather? From my end here today, we have you know, some slight snow. So the weather is kind of cold. Those on break, how is your break going? Those at work and those on traffic, those driving, how have you guys been? Hope things are moving on smoothly. Um, I think we'll just continue because we've got a number on my participant list. Uh, good afternoon once again and welcome for those of you that are joining us for the first time. My name is Gagba Esia Haya and I'm the training coordinator of the Temple Small Business Development Center. Uh, the Temple Small Business Development Center helps small businesses start and grow. Uh, we offer free one-on-one -on -one consulting and a variety of low to low cost webinars. Uh, you are here this afternoon for a webinar on web analytics for your business. Uh, a copy of the PowerPoint and the link to the recording will be sent to all the attendees. Uh, be before then, we are part to be part of the nationally accredited network of the Small Business Development Center, which has over a thousand network across the United States. Once again, being a webinar, all the attendees have been muted. However, we always encourage you to drop your question on the Q&A or the chat box. Without further ado, please allow me to welcome our wonderful speaker, even as he takes over the floor for the presentation. Mr. David, you're welcome. Thank you so much, Garba. Always an honor serving alongside you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the training with Temple SBDC. I'll be your instructor for this afternoon. Some of you um, we may have interacted or you've come to previous ones. Some of you never met, had the opportunity to meet. But either way, I always like to start with, um, you know, putting a few things in the chat box. So for those still coming in and, you know, those already here, if you could do me a favor in the chat box, if you could put your uh, name, uh, your business, you know, what you do, right? Uh, your business and a little bit about what you do. And then lastly, um, actually three things, your, four things, your name, your business, what you do, what area you're in, and what you're looking to learn from here. I know that's a lot. I know that's a lot, but I think it's always helpful, right? So, um, yeah, if you can put that in the chat box for me, um, well, your name will kind of be there already. So we, we got that, all right? So, so give me, I'm gonna put it down here. So what we want is business, your uh, location, okay, and your what you what you want to uh, learn about analytics. So great, 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 great. All right, so I'm gonna just read a few of these. We've got uh, Adam David Jones, Zier, we are personal safety. Okay, oh, sorry, actually before that we have Oscar and Stephanie DePaz, welcome. Uh, Adam David Jones, Zier, we are a personal safety technology company that creates an, an, an autonomous safety response system with machine learning and connected devices. I'm the, the CEO and currently in Southern PA. Wow, that so is so cutting edge. That's so awesome, Dave. Uh, Adam. Uh, wow, machine learning with autonomous safety. <clears throat> Richard Cartwright, Terra Systems, looking to better understand web analytics. Right now, it's all Greek. You know, I can't promise that it won't stay Greek, but I will do my best. It is pretty um, technical, so we'll do our best to simplify it down here. Uh, Adam says he wants to learn how to optimize outreach. Wonderful. Stephanie DeVaz, I remember you guys painted painted, painted papyrus. Hopefully I said that right. Art and illustration. Welcome. 
Rebecca Patton, the Wild Botanica, Jefferson County, Brockway, PA, Natural Soap, Self-Care Manufacturing, and Retail. Very cool, very cool. Self-care is important. Nancy Knoll, Nancy and I own and operate the Queen and Victorian Bed and Breakfast in Belafonte, PA. Beautiful, beautiful. Just sounds, just sounds amazing. I have to look it up, check it out. Sounds like some a good getaway. Um, <clears throat> how to interpret data is what Nancy wants to uh, learn. We'll be going over that. Greetings from VA. Welcome, Samuel from VA. Awesome, awesome, Adam. Uh, Rodney, Rodney Folks, uh, RWFFA, sorry, RWF Artwork, uh, Artist, Philadelphia. Hey, Philly in the house. New to web analytics, interested in understanding this and applying it to my business. Very cool, Rodney. Uh, Betsy Spivak, um, with uh, Travel with the Local, uh, travelwiththelocal.net. I organize small group tours to Italy. I'm looking to better understand web analytics in Philadelphia, PA. Wonderful. Yes, good thing to know. Um, uh, IO Hunter. IO Hunter, my business is IO uh, Gmail. I create and sell, sell artwork and shirts with my business logo and tagline on them in North, Philadelphia, in North Philadelphia. I'm here to learn as much as I can. I'm new to being uh, a business owner. Welcome. Well, well, you're in the right place, Io. Um, Gavin Noah, uh, Gavin Pula. I am a senior student at the University of Nevada, Nevada, Las Vegas. Welcome, all the way from the West Coast. I'm looking to learn about how to best reach a desired target market and attract trends across customer segments. Well, excellent. You're in the right place. Uh, Samuel Nixon from VA here to learn how to do a better analysis of the websites that are in development for my STEAM education programs. Very cool. Deborah Pokolas, um, Bell Essence, natural and organic skincare. Need a refresher course in analytics. Wonderful. We're definitely going to go over some stuff here today. Ellen G Gigalotti. Um, I own a sanctuary Christian counseling in uh, Shippensburg, PA. Welcome. We help in grieving individuals, distressed kids, and teens and couples com in conflict find peace, solutions, and connection all over PA. Wonderful. That's so needed in this time right now, especially. I'm looking to understand analytics better. Excellent. We're going to go into that. Uh, Painted Pep Peppers is located in Delaware County. Uh, we hope to learn how to use the analytics to better focus our advertising and social media so that we can increase our sales. Beautiful. Thank you all for, for sharing those um, thoughts there. It's good to know where everybody's from, what, what everybody's doing. I always encourage that networking. That's, you know, your net worth is tied to your network. I wholeheartedly believe that. Uh, we got also Regina, diversity, diversity and inclusion consultant. Diversity and inclusion consultant, wonderful. So um, what I wanna do today, is gonna be, you've come to some of my previous trainings, um, you know, there's a there's a kind of a flow that we go through. Uh, for those that are new, I'll, I'll kind of go into this still. I always, you know, give an introduction to myself, even though for those that already know a little bit about who I am. But um, then today, we're gonna go over some slides, but uh, for those that want to follow step-by-step step and you're um, a hands-on learner, this is going to be a lot of hands-on today, right? So we're going to go into Google Analytics and we're going to dive into the platform itself. We're going to get our hands dirty a little bit. I'm going to go through, so I'm going to be back and forth giving you your, and of course you're going to have access to the slides, but you're going to get um, hands-on experience as well as the content to help you understand or maximize uh, web analytics better. Okay, so just want to kind of give you a heads up what we have going on. Um, great. So here is uh, a little bit about myself, right? Um, again, for those who aren't familiar, for those who are familiar, you could just, you know, snooze on this part. <laughs> uh, so social media enthusiast over uh, 12 years of experience. Um, contributor for Sociable, Social Media Today, Huffington Post, strategize for 
various business owners, nonprofits, churches, Fortune 500 companies. I uh, founded a company called Kingdom Business Solutions. I, I started off initially in SEO, search engine optimization and websites and things of that nature. And then we transitioned into um, focusing on digital marketing. I used to work for a company called TerraCycle, the world's leader in upcycling and recycling of traditionally non-recyclable items. So that's where I got, uh, got a lot of experience for four years. Um, and then I transitioned into um, focusing on Kingdom Social Media, which helps and trains uh, influential leaders and um, leading organizations on how to maximize social media. I'm also a best-selling author of a book called Faith into Abundance. I'm a recent Goldman Sachs 10,000 small business graduate, and I'm also an adjunct professor at Temple University where I teach social media marketing. So I love teaching. That's why I'm here today. I enjoy it and seeing people get an understanding of something that they didn't know. Um, 30 people to watch in Delaware Valley under 30, no longer in a 30 club. Uh, just so, again, some highlights of things. Uh, awards on claim that we've received over the years, Top Future, 30 Under 30, Ghana, Social Media Today, Hootsuite, Yahoo, Entrepreneur, Dell, and many, many others. Um, some of our clients from uh, from the from the experts and professional side include um, uh, speakers, create coaches, consultants, so this guy in the top left, uh, Tom McNeil, one of the top motivational speakers, Dana Falk, celebrity chef, Wendy White Bailey, a former, um, uh, sorry, a sales coach at Atlanta, Dorinda Walker, we work with, uh, she's a VP, former VP at Prudential, John Simons, former NBA player, um, Mark Blunt, former NBA player, um, Daniel Alley, the millionaire mentor, a speaker and coach, uh, Sc Scott Patinga, top, um, he's a serial investor, um, Wendy White Bailey, um, uh, business coach, sales coach out of um, Atlanta as well, and or does Amy, former 49, right? We've also been able to work with um, some really amazing organizations here in Philadelphia. But of course, we work with organizations around the world, but I just thought I'd highlight some Philadelphia ones. Public Health, Health Management Corporation on the Table Philly, Trellis for Tomorrow, Community College of Philadelphia, Global Women X, U.S. Ghana Chamber of Commerce, Entrepreneur Works, the Department of Defense, Power Up Your Business, and many others. So uh, I always share a little bit about my story. I grew up in a very strict household. My parents are from Ghana, West Africa. Four options. You can follow your dreams as long as that dream is to become an, a lawyer, a doctor, engineer, or a cat. Maybe some of you can relate <laughs> if you grew up in that kind of environment. Um, and so I was on track to become an engineer. That was the path. It was already planned for me from like three or four years old. I, I declared as a mechanical engineering major. Absolutely hated it. No offense to my engineers in here. It just wasn't for me. And um, I told my mom, I'm, you know, my second year, I absolutely hate this. I'm going to go into something that I'm passionate about in my culture. It's very taboo to kind of like tell your parents no. So I wrote my mom a seven page letter explaining why I'm going to go into this thing called digital media. And from that, um, I went into digital media, you know, learn about podcasts and learn about social media, learn about a lot of stuff um, through college and um, left California eventually and then worked for the company I told you about. So I, I've always been one to follow passion. So that's why I'm here today. I'm sharing, you know, all things digital, digital marketing, I'm really passionate about. So let's jump into the takeaways. Five things you're going to learn with, leave and take away today. One, you're going to understand the importance of using analytics. Two, you're going to take the next step to create digital Google Analytics for your website. I'm going to challenge you. I have some challenges for you today. Uh, three, we're going to create dashboards of data to help you grow your presence online. Four, be able to analyze a Google Analytics report. And five, learn other analytics tools that are available to you. So we got quite a, fit, uh, quite a bit to cover today. But before we can do that, I always deal with this. If you know the answer to the question, don't put your answer in there. Um, before we can deal with digital, we must deal with one thing. Anyone want to take a guess? I always start with this. For those that know, please don't put anything in the chat. But for those that don't, please, please, uh, um, please uh, go ahead and put it in the chat for me. What is the thing we need to work on before we can handle digital, before we can handle analytics, before we can handle all that stuff? What's the first thing we need to know? Now, I, if anybody's come to previous sessions, you know, I'm interactive. We use that chat. We're gonna we're gonna communicate. So. It's unfortunate I can't see you guys' faces and all that good stuff. So I am not moving on until I get at least one answer. What is the thing we have to work on before 
before we actually work on analytics. Dang it, Stephanie got it right on the right on, right. On, I said dang it because nobody usually gets on the first first try. Good job, Stephanie. Um, mindset, a hundred percent. That is correct. Before we can even work on all this stuff, you have to have the right mindset. Um, if anyone's seen The Matrix, you know, um, in the movie, Keanu Reeves' character, uh, Neo, whenever he had to learn something, they installed software into the back of his head for him to be able to do it. So he was gonna, if he was gonna, um, you know, do Taekwondo, they installed Taekwondo software and he was able to do Taekwondo. If, if, if it was riding bikes, installed bike software to be able to, to do that. So we have to install some software and, and including the mindsets that will help us to get to where we want to go. So the first mindset we have to have is consistency is a mindset. There's no tool for that. I don't care what tools are out there, what techniques, what tricks. There's no tool for consistency. And it's the most important thing, I think, for marketing uh, of all types, um, whether you're marketing your business, marketing yourself. Uh, there's no more there's no power, more powerful force in media than consistency. And and that's what's going to bring you results to, for you to be able to check your analytics and see what you have anyway. If you're consistently putting out content, you're consistently driving traffic, you're consistently doing whatever you're doing. So just build consistency into what you do, like make it make it a habit, make consistency something um, in your in your life, in your business that that you you continue to you know add to your your skill sets and all the things that you do. The, ne the next mindset is that the best resource is resourcefulness. The best resource is resourcefulness, meaning that it's not about, oh, you know, I, I, I need I need $10 million. I need this. Like it's it's actually the most resourceful people that are, are attracting more resources. So it's it's taking what you have and utilizing it to the fullest and taking and maximizing it. It's not trying to look outside and try to find there's there's a lot of resources you have within you. There's a lot of resources you have within Temple SBDC that you can tap into. There's a lot of things that are, are just waiting for you to tap into. So that's the second mindset. The third mindset is that we're gonna go over some stuff today and it's gonna seem overwhelming. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's good. And, and actually not seem, it's gonna be in most cases overwhelming. But how do you get over overwhelm? You practice and practice and practice and you practice mastery. Um, mastery is a skill set. I, I mean, it is a, is a way of doing things that I think is rare today. A lot of people don't master things. So mastery is, you know, after this presentation, watch it two more, three more times. Most people will watch it today and that's it. But you want to master something, you continue to watch it, you continue to read. Right now, I'm in a mindset of um, just sharing with you personally. When I read a book, I read a book, um, and then for the first time, and then I read a book and take a highlight and take notes, and I read over those notes, and then I listen to an audio, listen to the audio of that book. So I'm trying to get it in, in me. So like mastery is 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 the key. Mastery, mastery, mastery. So anything we cover or anything you any session you come to, whether it's uh, you know related to digital marketing or anything, mastery is going to be key. So we're going to go into some Google Analytics stuff. And, um, you know, I first want to ask the question to you all. Well, let me ask, actually, I, I do sometimes take the questions as we get them in. So um, I just bought a Squarespace website. This is from not a um, uh, website that is supposed to have Google Analytics provided. Will, will the advice given today apply? Yes, it will be applied. And, and uh, if it doesn't have it in there, there's a, uh, I'm gonna show you where you can get the code from Google Analytics so you can take it and apply it into your platform. Okay, so, but I, I get, again, here's where I'm gonna ask for some interaction. Why use web analytics in the first place? What's the reason? Anyway, we'll put it, just put your answers in the chat. Why are we, why do you, you know, what's the purpose? What's the reason why we want to use web analytics? To know you, who your audience is. That's great. Excellent. So that you know what works. Excellent, Ellen. Uh, to understand your customers. Spot on, Adam. Like, this is great. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are putting these answers in. This is exactly... Exactly. These are all re good reasons why we want to use one to monitor the effectiveness of your website. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. It's important. Sometimes we can get with analytics, we can get caught up in the, the analytics of itself, but not really focus on what is what what am I using using this for? Like so to always remember why we're doing this. Analytics are going to allow you. I, I love this quote. What you measure gets managed. If you don't measure it, it doesn't get managed, right? If you measure your, if you're trying to lose weight, you, you're measuring, you're constantly doing that, you're going to manage it and improve your, improve your shape. If you measure your, uh, your analytics, you're going to improve what you're doing. So it's, it's important to continually measure what you're doing to get a better result because you're paying attention. It's going to make you more effective. Uh, Bob says, see what results you are getting. If something is not working, um, uh, if something's not working, change it up. Love it, Bob. Good to see you. Um, so, so that is, I love all the reasons that you share. Okay, so here are some other other things that are, are part of that, right? And so that's, you know, the the benefits are, you know, your your web your website metrics and tr trends and traffic, right? Your visitor insights. A lot, a lot of you mentioned that. Your traffic channels, seeing what what channels are um, effective, content performance, what's working from a content perspective, and your conversion goals, right? So that's your sales, um, all of those things. So again, all the reports that we're going to go over in in Google Analytics have um, to sh they have things that can show you this, stuff like this. They'll show you what the what the trends and things are. They'll show you what your audience audience information looks like so you can see what your the behaviors of of your audience are um you know it'll, it'll show you how you acquire new people um from the different traffic sources again it'll show you just how people are reacting to what you share uh whether on your website or on your platforms and then it will show you how your your you can uh, compete against your competitors or uh or the goals that you've set for your organization Okay, so <clears throat> well, um, as 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 um, we've talked here, uh, Google Analytics is what we're going to mainly focus on. There are a lot of other analytics tools, but I think, and uh, my bias is towards Google Analytics. It's it's the most robust, free platform from an analytic perspective available, and I want to explain why that is for a second. Uh, Google, of of course, is one of the top companies in the world um and they're one of the top search engines right so google has a lot of data they have a lot of information so when you opt in to use google analytics if you want to access certain data you have to tell google you don't have to they give you the option to to tell google hey if you want to see data around a specific industry topic trend we'll give you all that insight just allow us to share your data anonymous, anonymously, right? They're not gonna share your personal information, but they're gonna share your data into their matrix of data. So by them doing that, what happens? Most business owners and most people are gonna say, yeah, sure, why not, right? If I can see what's going on and get a better, deeper insight. And so that's something that they, they give you an option to see, we'll, we'll, we'll show, I'll show you a little bit about that in a second. Um, but this is why I believe Google Analytics is, is the most powerful platform because they collect the most data and they also uh, give you access to see certain things that other platforms just can't, they just don't have the capacity to do. So I'm not, I'm not against other platforms. There's other good stuff out there, but I still believe Google Analytics is the best and ultimate platform for analyzing websites, landing pages, all that good stuff. All right. So before we get into to the actual platform, I want to go over some, I want to look at this from the end to the beginning. You know, I always start from the end and then I come back to the beginning. Um, so we have, to, somebody mentioned earlier about segments. Um, there's, there's things we have to keep in mind from a segment perspective, from, you know, what, what, what are, uh, and I'll, I'll break these all down, like who you're targeting, different audiences and things of that nature. Um, so here, here's, Here's what we want to understand. We want to have uh, reporting principles, right? Reporting principles. So when you're reporting, and again, this is this is looking at the end. Um, remember what what why are we using this all, right? So you want to have 
Um, and organizationally, you want to make this part of your culture um, of doing this, right? Making it again a, a practice, a habit. Um, you know, fo focus on the, the whole entire journey, right? Like, so what what are what are we going to do to bring the traffic to the website? Um, what are the what happens when they arrive? These are the things we want to look at at a high level. What what was the impact on our business offline and offline online, right? Um, these are just again frameworks and principles to think about. So being timely, it refers to you know what pick 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 a frequency. Are you going to um, have a report once a month, once a week, um, once a quarter? I like monthly personally. So. Um, monthly is, is good. If you have various team members and things like that, don't don't report on just one aspect. Um, don't avoid those silos. You want to you want to present this to uh, everyone to see. The marketing department could benefit from this. The sales department could benefit from this. The customer service department could benefit from this information. So don't keep this information just in one department or another. Right? There's there's value for all. Okay. Um, so again, you want to make sure that you you know provide context on what's working, um, knowing your competitors, knowing your information, and we're going to dig into that. And I, I know, I know for some of you, this is going to be maybe more of a beginning part of Google Analytics. You never worked with it, so I'm I'm just trying to give a, a view from all perspectives, right? Um, so the framework, right, of measuring, right? We want to start with how we measure. So you're going to select your KPIs, which refers to key performance indicators. This just shows that you're on track, right, with what you're doing. Um, you, you, you've probably heard some of these frameworks that I'm about to go over, but, but there's the business strategy, there's the online objectives, there's the key performance indicators, there's the traffic and the segments. How are you going to segment out who you're targeting to, right? You might have different segments for your business. Um, you want to also set dumb strategies, right? Dumb strategies are doable understandable, manageable, and beneficial, right? The more you can keep things simple, like my motto this year is simplify to multiply, right? Just just simplifying things, not trying to make things complex, doing it's the simple that really can get repeated. Complexity is 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 the enemy in, in my in my opinion. All right. So um you want to you know have a framework of how you're going to look at things, how are you going to look at your, your, your leads, your revenue, your increased growth, all those things. Um, another framework you, most people have probably heard, specific, measurable, it's achievable, relevant, time, time bound, or time limited. Uh, this is a, fr a framework, so you're setting your SMART goals. So, you know, a question you might ask yourself is, um, what is our goal? Oh, we want to achieve um, a 10% uh, increase from last year Oh, oh, um, into our website uh, traffic um, from last year, right? That could be an example. We want to generate 20% um, more leads. Um, and then you have something to measure, right? You know, against, you want to know where you want to go. So you want to define your, your, your company's KPI, your, your key performance, and show what, what, what's, what's showing that you're on the right track, right? How do you know your goal, its goals and metrics uh, to measure? What, what is it? What is it that you need to measure to show whether or not you're succeeding at your objective? So, I, so I'm starting with this because I don't want to just go into the platform and just look at a bunch of stuff. I want you to be thinking about, hmm, what are what do I really want to measure? What do I want to find out? Do is it competitor data? Is it survey data? Is it is it social media data? What is it that I really need from analytics? Because other, otherwise, you can go into a rabbit hole and look at all the stuff and not really have a plan, right? So having a plan first, if you've been, as a famous Philadelphian said, uh, Ben Franklin said, if you if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. So we have to have a plan going into this whole digital jungle. Um, so when it comes to measurement framework targets, we want to have um, some predetermined numbers that indicate success or failure, right? So um, you know this is going to be personal to each. Each person here, you're going to have to decide what that is. You can again start with the framework of smart goals or dumb goals. Um, just having a clear understanding of what you're you're going to set. You can base this on historical data. Um, if unfortunately, if you're you're installing Google Analytics today, um, you won't have that historical data. But if you have like a WordPress site, it might have its own um, uh, analytics in it 
and some of these other platforms, Wix and things of that nature have their own uh, systems as well. Um, but they all usually have a way for you to integrate uh, at Google Analytics, which I, again, you know how I feel about that. I highly recommend it. So you want to have a plan. You want to make sure that you, you're, you're clear um, numbers. Like, what do you want to reach? Was it, is it uh, um, how many people you want to reach on social media through a specific platform? How much, how much traffic do you want to convert from uh, Facebook onto your website as leads? Right, things of that nature. So you want to make sure you have clear targets. And I'm going to, I'm going to just be honest. If you don't have a clear target, pick a target. Make something up to start with. Um, you know, obviously it'd be best to do something logical that makes sense, that's correlated. But if you just don't know where to start, start with something that you can measure. That's what that's that's all I'm getting at. Is that we want to have a, a target to measure. So. When it comes to the whole segments, as, as, as I believe somebody brought up, um, segments are essentially we want to identify those sources of traffic, right? These types of people that are desirable for us to market to, to sell to, um, and it helps with um, when you segment things out. So you know you find out which customers care about what, and and there's a really there's a really cool framework that uh, Google has for doing this. So we're going to go into that. And you're going to see what's important to people, what what behaviors are important to them, what what their time frame is on your site, who we're trying to. You're going to get a lot of data and information. So we also want to we also want to you know break down things to um, understand how we're how we're performing in different segments. So a segment could be um, I'm focusing on maybe I'm comparing women to men. Right, you um, know, in, in my my segmentation, I'm comparing uh, what another age bracket or age group to another age group. Right, so you want to you want to know what what happens. So some sometimes you might have success with a specific segment and and failure with another segment, and that's okay. Sometimes people think it's about the overall, but no. If your target market is the one buying and clicking and downloading and doing all the things you'd like them to do, then that's a that's success. Right. So again, for the KPI, I'll give you an example of, of how you could measure framework. So we want to generate leads. That's a strategy. We want to provide info and resources. That's the objective. And we want X amount of PDF downloads per month. That, that's the KPI. That's the key performance indicator showing that we're on track. And I'm going to segment this by the document type. Right. So then I'll know um, how I measure this. Again, this is this is just again an example so i want you to understand how to create a measurement framework that you can practice and utilize step by step and um you know pick objectives that you want to measure and then drill down to those kpis and how you're going to segment them okay so um you know the framework should be you know simple to understand focus on your organization strategy and instantly interpretable. So I should be able to know what I need to do, um, how do I need to do it um, very clearly and effectively right away. Um, here are some examples. So I'm, uh, I've got some examples here, impressions, uh, clicks, page views, um, actionable metrics. These are all things that are more, so the vanity metrics, I'll just be honest, like vanity metrics are, are things that, you know, people get, excited about but not always clicks doesn't always mean a great thing it's not just you know clicks may not just be the only goal i'd rather have you know um a convert a higher conversion rate than and, and low clicks than high clicks and low, low conversion rate right so so you got to think about these are just some things to think about what are some examples um that you could you could you could do and um for your business so i actually want um, I told you we're going to be hands on today. Before we even go into the platform, I, I want you to do a little bit of work here. Okay. So I want you to take a few minutes. We're not going to take all the time that I have on here set, set, but I want you to identify two to three business objectives for yourself, for your, um, um, for your specific organization. Right. Um, I, 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 if we had more time, I'd have you do all of this, but I, I just right, right now, I just want you to identify a business objective. And then I want you to, um, you know, and then you, and maybe, maybe this is a smart statement. We want to, 
we want to um, increase our traffic by 20% or we want to um, whatever the objective is, okay? So I'm gonna give you two minutes, right? And, and some of you might not need that. And then when you're done, I just want you to put it in the chat for me, okay? I want you to put it in the chat, what your objective is. Again, I'm serious about this. So I, I want I want to see what you're going to um, look for before we get into the platform, because I want you to have a, a measurement, uh, an example, okay? Run higher ed pilots, okay. Um, okay, run higher ed pilots. Okay, okay, got it. Um, I, I'm trying to understand. I, I'm sure it means a lot more to you, Adam, than it is. I'm trying to understand it from, from my perspective. So that means I'm, I'm assuming it's like a, a pilot that you're trying to run here for, and then you're tracking it. I'm just trying to see how you correlate that to Google Analytics. So you're going to track um, the traffic or track the, um, oh, you don't know yet. Okay, I understand. Cool, you're giving me something you're working with. All right, cool, cool, Adam. I appreciate that. All right, so continue to pull, you know, take a few minutes if you need 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 to. You can pick your objectives. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna hear, see a few more. Okay, great, great. I love to see everybody's plugged in. More engagement from website. More con more people con uh, filling out contact form. Superb. It's a great objective. I love that one, um, um, Helen. Um, business objectives in general or in relation to the web kind of more related to your website and analytics, right? Because something that we can easily track through your website. So I would say, um, good question, not a, um, yeah. Attract traffic and sales, uh, Rodney, excellent. Sell 20 items per month. Let's see, because that says, excellent. Terra Systems is a family owned business. We want to announce that this is our 30th year anniversary. We want customers, we want to reach new customers and attract younger, uh, in age clients who we are not connected with today. Very clear. I love I love that, Richard. Um, increased conversion rate, increased signups, Deborah says, excellent. Um, objective, increased sales, increased customer engagement, increased email list, superb, uh, Stephanie. Uh, Nancy says, increased second quarter occupancy to 50%. Love it. I, uh, Rebecca says, I would like to know more about my target audience. Who is coming to my website? Attract more concise traffic, increase email signups. You guys are pros. We, we, can, we can end this thing right now. I mean, just, <laughs> I mean, that that's, no, that's seriously, that's really good, you know, to come clear with what, what you're doing. So superb. I love that. If you have more, if others who want to put more in, you feel, you're welcome to. Okay, but I'm, I'm gonna keep moving on. So we got it. We got it. We got our clear uh, measurement of what we want to achieve. Okay, so that's good. So again, when you get the slides, you'll be able to to uh, go over this and see this. But like like you want to have, you want to put this in the uh, framework, right? Like this. Like you have your objective, right? Uh, you you have uh, your segment. If it was a specific segment. What is how you're going to acquire them? What is the behavior? What is the outcome? Then your KPI, meaning your key performance indicator. What was what's from the acquisition stage, from the behavior stage, the outcome stage, your target. So this is just a little framework you can use for, for mapping that out. So um, we're going to go into the fundamentals now. And I want you to, for those that can, um, I want you to go to, you can type into Google, uh, Google Analytics demo. I'm going to pull this up for you here. I, I actually have this here in the chat for you. I'll put, put this in the chat. Okay. We're going to uh, I'm going to um, I have mine already set. So, okay, for those who are want to follow along, okay? Um, so you can either type in Google Analytics and, and uh, I, I decided to use a demo account. So everybody, you know, you can, you can, either, you, you can use your personal account if you want to, right? Um, for those that already have it installed, for those who don't have it installed, this is a good way to just kind of get introduced to it. And I'll, I'll show you just a, a few backend things here, right? So just type in Google Analytics demo account You'll go there, okay, um, and then it might give you an option. So, I, and I expect for those, hey, if it, it, it honestly, um, because of time, 
some of you may not be able to keep up with me because I'm, you know, for a bit of time I have to move through. Um, just come back, watch the recording, remember practice uh, mastery, not overwhelmed. So don't, don't be overwhelmed. It's going to be a lot of stuff we're going to go through. Okay. Um, so you'll see the Google Analytics um, options here. And then uh, it will either take you to down here at the bottom. Um, you go to Google, Google Analytics, click admin, uh, then go to, uh, um, sorry, so like demo account, right? So that's one way to get there. I'm just giving you all the ways to get to where, and demo account's cool because you get to see, um, you know, how this whole thing works. So you'll go to Google Analytics, uh, and Google Analytics is free. Everyone can get access to it free. So this is, this is also a way you can get there and add your analytics. So I'm gonna put that in the chat as well for those that are gonna follow along with me on the demo account. And for those that are just gonna watch, you know, just, just again, you can take notes, all of those good things. Okay, so I'm already, I already have mine set already. So you, I mean, I'm in the admin right now. Okay, and um, I'm gonna keep an eye on the slides of what we're, where we're going over. You can see my messy desktop, how about that? Um, uh so i'm going to be going over a few things inside here okay uh that i think will be good for you to know so i'm in the, a demo account right now so i went to demo and i was able to pull it out how many of you were able to pull up demo you can just say yes no just let me know in the chat if you're able to pull it up um See who's following with me on the demo. And if not, I know some of you maybe are mobile. It's not, no, okay. Rodney, okay. Um, okay, no, just following, okay. Okay, you're looking at your, can you repost the web link? Yes, yes. So let me repost that. To get to the demo account, you just go here, okay. I will say Google does not do a good job of um, making things simple. I, that's, they're notorious for making things complex. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I just posted it there again. You can click through and then follow along there. And again, like I said, uh, um, yeah. So I was asking you to make a new account. Okay, no, no worries. Um, um, again, you'll have access to this to, so you can see it. Okay, I just posted the link again, so you all should be able to access. So let me go ahead and uh, go into Google Analytics. So I'm I'm in I'm in the uh, Google Analytics demo account, right? You can see here I got some other uh, client accounts and things like that in nature in here. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the top. It has it has it all broken down into specific views. Okay, so I'm in the reports view right now. Okay. Um, this is again a, a Google like store example, right? So there's a bunch of things that it can it, it has in here. Um, so there's a couple of views, uh, merchandise store. I just chose this one, the one that it has here. They have something else called Flood It. I chose. I'm in the. I'm in this view. Okay. So again, this is all fictitious. It's just. It's just a. Um, you know. An example. Okay. So you have real time, you have a real time view, right? So that's the first, the first thing. Uh, and it's going to show you how many users are on. So what's cool is you can see at any given moment when you're in your Google, Google Analytics, how many people are on your platform and at uh, from where in the world, um, what mobile and desktop tablet um you can see the last 30 minutes you can use it per minute you can see a lot of cool stuff right home page and event count conversions uh so instantly you're you're seeing the uh, you know the value uh of of this so this is giving you from a uh <clears throat> how can we read this to make assumptions okay good question um adam I'll go over that in a second here. Um, I want to show you something here. This is just another view. You can look at uh, the whole thing. 
some people like to have um you know like a snapshot view you can you can see that right again part of my computer being a little slow um sometimes it's just awfully slow so let me shut off a few things maybe that will speed things up all right so i mean for real time the 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 thing on real time there's nothing really to read on from real time data and interpret from from real time data uh, i mean real time data is just kind of cool to know um it's not we're we're, we're going to get into to really make assumptions and and information is going to be in these other areas which i'm going to show you all so, so uh, unfortunately there's nothing really real time is just it's just cool okay there's this amount of people on um, and I will be showing you some tools that can help you, that will help you to interpret uh, information um, uh, through through the through this through the platform. So, um, I also want to I also want to show you something here. Um, what's the Google has what's called an analytics intelligence. So, um, this is when you when you want to interpret or find data. Like certain things, how much traffic did we get last month? So if you need something quick, you want to know, right? It shows you ninety thousand. Um, how many? How many conversions? I don't know if there's gonna be anything today conversions last week all right let me let me sit, let me just put sales it should have that language how many sales last week 274 transactions right so if you needed some information right away uh you could get that uh by using the analytics intelligence it's a really cool thing if you just need it you need something answered right away you don't have time you need to answer something for your other team members or um, how many how many users how many users in the US in the United States I should probably say okay yeah there we go so so all that data is is provided to you right at a at a at a glimpse so I, I love this tool for whenever I need something quick and in a hurry. Um, you can ask questions about users. You can ask questions about which chat. Okay, let, let me do, let me do this one. This one's pretty cool. Um, which channel converted? Um, great question. Rebecca says, "Is Google Analytics in?" um is google analytics uh limited to websites um or could i track data on my social media pages as well or could i track data on competitors websites is that legal <laughs> i love it i love the way you're thinking there uh rebecca so uh is google analytics limited to websites no google analytics can pull data that you put into it so you could put your you can put your website in you, it will pull from your social media traffic from your social media to your website um for your social media insights itself you will need to get that insight from which we'll go over you need to get that insight from your specific platform um you will from from the standpoint of uh competitors i have a really neat tool i can show you for your competitors data and to answer C. Cosette's question, your competitors can't see your Google Analytics directly. No, they can't see all of your information. What I did share is that Google will allow you to opt into their system to, to put your data into a, a conglomerate of data that they will do. Okay, so um, that is that is what, um, what you could do. So which, which uh, channel uh, has the best? I just kind of give you guys all these kind of information, all these kind of 
um, questions that you can ask. Which channel has the best conversions? Okay, it's not giving me that. Okay, here we go. I'll do top top session by. Um, so if it doesn't have it, you have to put it in through. Okay, so right here, top session default channel grouping by conversion. You see here, it gives us organic search, direct, display, paid, referral, organic, uh, affiliates, email. So it's it, which conversion, which one has the best conversions, right? So it's, that's that's another cool question you can ask the system. All right. So let me let me let me kind of go through the next. There's also an app. So I highly recommend you get the Google Analytics mobile app. Um, a lot of people don't know that there's a mobile app. So if you need stuff, all these questions can be asked. Um, um, you know, uh, actually, I want I want to take a question from you all. Give me a question you want to put into Google Google Insights uh, in Google Intelligence. What's a question you would ask uh, to find out from the research? I'm just going to take the first question I get. What is the question that you would want to ask Google regarding it? What time of day? Okay, good one, good one. Uh, what time of day uh, do people under 26 visit our website? What time of day do what time of day do people under 26 visit? This one's going to be a tough one for Google, but I think maybe it can handle it our website not 20 uh under age 26. okay people under people what time of day let me see what time of day do people under Let's, let's try it. Let's see. Oh, you, you gave you gave one it's that stumped it, but we, well, I can show you how we can pull that. Good good question, Adam. That was a good one. Uh, yeah, it stumped in, in uh, the in, uh, analytics intelligence. Um, but um, let's let's go ahead and let's go ahead and go to the platform. I'll show you how we can get this kind of information. Okay, so acquisition, right? So let's go into the acquisition. Acquisition is where we're going to, and I, I like your question to Richard, my customers are alignment, how, to, how, how to learn what they need. I'm gonna show you that too. Okay, so acquisition, I'm gonna go out of real time view. I'm gonna go back into real report view. Okay, so I'm in a report snapshot now. Okay, so real time is what's going on. Report snapshot is just the last month or so. Okay, so I'm going to go to acquisitions. So there's everything's broken down into a few sections. There's acquisition, engagement, monetization, and retention. So under acquisition, there's a few other a uh, few other things. Okay, so all right, I've got my okay, I've got my users. I got my uh, event count event is just like any interaction that they've had conversions this is all in a month view but let's let's give this more data right i want i want to go for the last this uh last last 12 months okay so if you ever want to change stuff you just come to the dates and you want you want to um change things you can do that you can also do comparison right so if you want to compare right if i wanted to compare uh i want to compare uh January, this January to last January, I can do that. I'm not gonna do that right now. Okay, I'm gonna keep it at uh, the last year. Okay, so, hey, not bad, 2.5 million revenue, last 12 months. All right, so this is gonna give you an overview, acquisition overview. Acquisition is how you're acquiring the traffic. So you can see here, the number of users, um, referral, all that stuff, how many people were came from organic, um, how many sessions, a session. So important to note, a session is <clears throat> um, every time you come on to a site, um, that's a session, right? You can come to the site. So you can have more than one session per day. You get multiple sessions on a site. So a session is, is that, right? So that's your visit. And then pages, you can visit multiple pages in one session, right? 
So um, again, this gives you a lot of information on um, all the different elements about uh, ac acquiring. Where did you acquire these users? So now I want to um, kind of let's see, do, do my best here to get uh, Adam's question answered here by going through some segmentation to show you how you can do some of these segments and stuff, right? Um, all right, so, oops, that's a comparison. I don't want to do a comparison. Okay. I don't want all users. I want to segment it out. Okay. Right here, age. Okay. Age. So right here, under, she said under 26. Uh, what are they giving me? Look at that. How about that? They gave me 25 to 24, 18 to 20. We'll just do 18 to 24 right now. Okay. All right. I want to add a new condition. Uh, Okay. Session content keyword, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, first use the date, medium. I know it's in here somewhere. Um, all right, we're just gonna do, we're gonna pull up this data and see if it just gives us all of it. Okay, so, yeah, um, all of that age, 18 to 24. Some metrics and dimensions are in report or not. Okay. Yeah, Google's Google's not uh, not being friendly to us today. Um, <laughs> no problem, Ellen. Um, all right. But but what I'm showing you is how you'll be able to to kind of like segment. Right, so you're gonna go into so you see here user segment. Um, this would be helpful for everyone, right? To to find out. Okay, you got your age. Add filter. Okay, and. So you can add different things into it. And it's time, there it is, time, day, filter. Um, let's see here. Okay, so it's got in the military. Is that, no, that doesn't look right, is that right? Yeah. Okay, so, um, we're just going to select, um, let's see, this is one. We're just going to select, let's, let's just nine to, I'm going to go to nine. Uh, let's go through the regular work day, all right? I'm just going to pick those. Or I can just do it at any point. You know what, I can look at any, any, at any point in time. Let me just do that. Let me do it at any point in time. Apply. Okay, save and apply. No data for this combination. Well, I, I did show you the right way. I don't know why it's not giving us some data. Maybe, maybe the store doesn't have this in there. But what I just did is how you would, you know, would get get exactly what you're looking for, right? So you'd go to your segmentation. Um, now I I just you go hit back. Um, uh, what I, what I just did is how you would break it down to to um, search it out, right? So you go to to segment out. You go to your users, and then you go to segment. You go age, and then time, right? Um, but so user acquisition, I'm going to go through a few more things here. Okay. Um, yep, you got it. You can put any segments you you, you want or you're looking for. 
Um, so organic search, right? Direct search. So what's going to have this, this is going to have it all by default. Google is really smart. So when you put it in, it's going to have a lot of these things going to know, um, you know, when you have this all set. So let, let me take one step back, right? Because I'm, I just realized some people may not have Google Analytics already installed. So let me just show you what you need to do to make sure that it's installed, right? So so you're going to come to you're going to come to Google and you're going to create an account. You're going to go to um, uh, properties, uh, property settings. Let me come back here. Account settings. Okay. You're going to see some different IDs and different things here. Give me one second, yeah, I'm just trying to make sure. Okay. Oh, I'm in the wrong view. Okay. Okay, maybe I need it. Let me let me go into maybe the demo account's throwing it off. I'm just gonna go into a client account real quick here. I know it's weird, but it's called Pariah Underwear. It's, it's, it's for, for, yeah. Uh, all right, so you go to, let me go into view settings. This is different in um, uh, goal, I mean, um, a certain view. So certain views, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be way different than it is um, in the demo view. So, okay, here we go. So yeah, so, so see, it's not show. this wasn't showing. You're gonna go into your account settings, you're gonna go to tracking info and then tracking code. And then this is for those that have like Squarespace and all those kind of things. You're gonna come in here. Give this a second as it populates. Okay, this is gonna be the number right here. You're gonna take this code and then put that, usually it's just gonna be this part here. You're gonna take this code and then you're gonna you're gonna send it over to, there's also other ways to do it through a Google site. Then. But just to make it easy, you're just gonna be tracking ID. You're gonna give that to Squarespace. You're gonna give that to Wix. You're gonna give that to all the things. You're gonna come set up and you're gonna be tracking. And then that's gonna, it's gonna be able to um, put all that stuff in there for you, okay? All right, so let's get back to the demo. All right, so we're still in reporting view, okay? Um, reporting view, um, we wanna now, just wanna walk through, wow, it's already one o'clock, believe it or not. Okay, so we've got a few things I wanna make sure we go through. So you've got your user acquisition view, showing you a user is, you know, any considered anybody that's come to the site, right? Um, so showing you directly, this is unassigned, they couldn't find a source for their traffic, organic search, people looking at on Google, um, paid search. So pretty self-explanatory on that side. Traffic acquisition is where the traffic uh, is coming from. So <clears throat> um, it will, you will, as you start to put in things, you can plug in, uh, you can see all the different types of traffic where, where things are coming from. So if we click on uh, paid search. Go. Usually breaks it down. Maybe because of demo. Hmm. Okay. Um, let me come back to this view. Maybe you'll show us in this view. Usually what we'll do is allow you to see by channel, like whatever channel you're using what um, specific channel uh, that person came from with display or with with uh, traffic and um, okay strange maybe because it's a demo so that's probably why um, but but just know that you you can click on it and you should be able to see even with with further, 
further detail um, what that is. So again, users maybe be the same, uh, the number of, it will be the number of people that counts the person, right? So you usually have more sessions than users. So one user can have multiple sessions. So a user may have uh, 12 sessions in, in, a, in a month because they came to your site multiple times. Engage sessions, this is just showing uh, the percentage of people that have come to your site and engaged in some way. Okay, so you can you can break down um, here we go. Acquisition. You can break down things by various things. Device. If you want to look at, you want to monitor devices. You want to divide a uh, page or screen. Um, acquisition. Uh, source. So session source. For example. So right here, okay. So I wanted the source there. So I can see Google Source, um, Google Play Store, invite a friend, Firebase, Beidou, right? I can see the number of information that, that information it gives you your engagement rate, right? It breaks it down, your conversions, your total revenue, um, a lot of data that you're given. Okay, now let's go to the next. Uh, if you got questions, um, please feel free to just put your your questions in. Okay, engagement and overview. Engagement overview. So this is just how this is really important. Um, conversions and conversions will be whatever you consider a conversion. So conversion can be um, uh, like you're going to have a, a section on here called goals, which I'm going to show you. Conversion could be um, somebody downloading a resource. Somebody, it could be a purchase of a sale. Uh, you tell Google what you, you consider a conversion through the goal section, which I'll show you in a second here. Um, you, you are in, you're in control of that, essentially. Um, good question. Um, engagement overview, right? So this is showing you all users. I mean, this, that's pretty amazing. Average engagement time, 11 minutes, shoot. Um, again, I know this is a demo. Uh, average engagement time per session, right? So that should be per session. So it breaks that down, okay? Uh, users in the last 30 minutes is just the real time data. Uh, views, event count, event count by name, it's breaking that down user activity over time, okay? So this it just gives you, so if you're, all sections have an overview section, if you just need quick information, if you need granular data, you're gonna, you're gonna, you can use that segment tool that I talked about earlier um, to, to change whatever you want for a specific thing. You wanna examine how people are engaging across a specific page, a specific, uh, um, you know, process or flow, you can, you can see all of that information in here. Okay, so, uh, right. So this again is just showing you, this is, these are events. Events are considered, um, you know, anything you, you're tracking, like uh, somebody coming to the thank you page, uh, somebody coming to um, watch a video, Event can be any of those things uh, that are tied to what you are tracking, screen view, whatever, whatever you want, really. Um, so let's let's look at uh, let me just break down uh, as an example. Let's do maybe something that a lot of people would actually use. So a lot of data you might hear, you might not, again, might not be um, useful. It's cool to know, but it's not like, a, like you can apply this every day. Okay. Let's see something here. Um, I actually didn't want that. Sorry, one second. Number of times. I'm gonna do this, okay. Um, let's go.
Let's do the country. No, I think this is only is in the US. Let me not do country. Let me just do something else. Yeah, we'll just do university. Just something easy. Okay. Um, all right. All right. So if I want to look at um, okay. breaking down gender here. Wait, I think I have it both male and female. Let me separate that out. Let me just separate that out so you guys can see. Um, all right. Okay, and then here we go. And then go gender, and then we'll go female. All right, there we go. So if I want to do something like that, I can compare data um, like that, right? So I can see from an engagement perspective, 20% uh, uh, male, 20% female, I can look at total users, okay, event, uh, per account per user, total revenue. So that's just, again, what you can do. You can do this on each level. Um, can Google Analytics keep track of how many people sign up for a call with me through the Calendly schedule on my site? Great question. Uh, Calendly should have a Google Analytics integration. Um, so yes, you could add tracking mechanisms to uh, your uh, your Calendly, you could certainly add that. So um, you might need to separate it as a different thing, meaning don't add it to your website data, add it to its own area. But yes, just look up Google Calendly, uh, Google Analytics and Calendly integration, okay? Uh, let me see here. I, I got a few more things, no problem, Nana. Um, I got a few more things I, I need to show you here. Um, Again, I'm, I'm trying to keep this not too crazy because Google Analytics can go very, very in depth. I just want to give you the simple, basic stuff, right? Um, but so we notice when I put a, uh, a breakdown of whatever it is, if I'm segmenting by mail, it's going to segment everything else that I look at that way as well, right? So right now I'm on page and screens. Um, let me see, I'm going to change this back to merchandise store. Okay. So um, give, you this, give this thing a second. All right, so I'm, I'm back in merchandise store view. Okay, so I'm able to see um, page and screen is gonna show you which pages. So it's cool, the home page, the store page, the shopping cart page, who's integrating, uh, who's looking at those things, um, who's looking at pages compared to, you know, in this case, um, male and female. This is the new users, users, views per user. Now, this is what I wanted to get to earlier, right? Demographics overview. This is pretty cool. This is, I think, somebody asked a question about knowing, um, you know, uh, knowing what what uh, what people are, who they are, who who who's your who your audience is. This is what you can get in the demographics overview, right? You have to know a little bit about them. Why does it say no data, or is it still loading? Okay, so I was showing by by country, uh, shown by per minute engagement. This again, this is an overview, right? The gender interest you'll have in your in the real view that's not the demo view you have a lot you have a lot of insight okay i don't know why it's not populated maybe it's still slow um but but you'll get a lot of different information so this is where you want to know like if you want to find out more about your specific market you're going to come here 
you do demographic details, demographic overview. This is where you get all that, that insight, okay? Yeah. I'm also gonna take off the, uh, so if I wanna take off um, what I have in my comparison, I can take that off here. Okay. Users and new users by country, right? I can see that users and new users by country, engaged sessions, their engagement rate, uh, engaged per session, average engagement time. This is broken down by country right here. But if I wanted to break this down into something else, I can break it down right here by interest. Okay. So, um, Let's do interest. Okay. Um, and then all of that data is going to populate here. Uh, uh, there's so many different ways. I mean, literally, we could spend two, three hours on each uh, section. Um, yeah. So I would advise uh, your, your to your to your question, Regina. I would advise. Um, Installing Google Analytics. So this is my answer to everyone that has like Square, Squarespace, uh, Google Analytics, WordPress. Any any of these platforms should have their own analytics, but I would still install Google Analytics. It's 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 going to be so much more robust um, data and and give you a lot more to work with. Okay, so right now in this demo, when there's no uh, interest, right, which is weird, but but. Interest is a category you can pull up. Um, tech overview, this is gonna kind of show devices, all that kind of stuff that um, that you have regarding the different devices and the platforms that people are on, the web and, and um, you know, versus desktop versus mobile. You wanna know, this is how you use this. You wanna see, what is there a drop off on mobile or is there broken pages? This is where you can find that out. You wanna make sure um, you use um, all the tools available to you to make sure you're giving a good experience, especially mobile. You know, today we live in a mobile um, centered world. People are very much on their phones. Okay. Um, overview of monetization. Okay. So this is where you're going to have your um, things related to sales and and conversions and purchases. Um, obviously, I'm going over the basic stuff. I didn't, you know, have time to just go and show you where to set all this up. But you, you know, there's some things you need to set up before you can see this data uh, correctly, right? Um, maybe we'll have to do a part two where it goes over that. But um, you, you'll have all of your purchases, your your products, all those things. So Google knows what you want, you, you know, what's what's effective, what's a sale. You can also connect your Google Analytics. I mean, sorry, your Google AdWords into the system. Um, if you're using Google AdWords, you can connect your um, your um, your YouTube channel traffic, all those things, all those cool things. And I promised I'd share with you really quickly here um, to watch your competitors. Here's what I use. It's called. So if somebody wants to give me their competitor very quickly, first person to give me the name of their competitor it has to be their exact website, exact website, no spelling, no guessing, it has to be direct spot on. Whoever has their competitor's website, I'm gonna show you how you can track them. All right, Richard is on it. All right, thank you, Richard. So um, this is a tool, and again, this is preliminary. If I want it, if I want more, more in-depth stuff, I will advise, you know, paying for this tool. Uh, it's not letting me, you know, I guess I'm gonna have to type it in. E-O-R-E-O-S-R-E-M-E-D-R-A-T-I-S. -E -E Make sure I spelled that right. E-O-S-R-E-M-E-D-I-A-T-I-O-N. All right. So um, the free version gives you some insight. Obviously, they have a paid version. You can get even more insight, okay? So 
Um, I don't, I'm assuming this site's like a legal kind of thing. So for Richard's competitor, um, we know how many keywords they're getting on online, which is pretty good. 1,048 organic keywords. We get to see their historical data um, uh, over time. So they're not running any paid. Uh, well, they were in January, pretty, pretty crazy, right? You can see what the 99% organic traffic um, when they were running, it looks like they were running about $18, which is not much on the Google ads. Um, and we're able to see that they're getting about 201 SEO clicks um, monthly. Um, we're seeing some of their rankings that improve, some newly key ranked words, some they've lost some rankings. Um, we get to see this, this part I always take with a grain of salt. It's not always accurate, right? Uh, organic competitors, paid competitors, um, not always accurate. Um, compared shared keywords across. Oh, look, look, look what comes up there, Richard. That's you, right? Terra Systems. So it's showing you guys have some shared keywords here, right? So, so what you'd be able to do is find out, hey, what are the other keywords, the other keywords that um, you have 297 unique to you? And then they got 144, 1,464. So this is really great for SEO. Um, it's really great for um, knowing what you can you can pull in here. Just to show it shows it shows the top keywords: EOS, BioScreen, EOS San Diego, all the things that they're doing. Obviously, to get all the keywords that they're doing, you could you could pay for the tool, and uh, you'd be able to see that, right? So, um, and it shows you which pages. So this is how I, whenever I want to scan competitor stuff, I, I use a lot, utilize this. Um, I will just show you this last section. We went over monetization. Um, we just go over retention. And then I think we'll wrap up here. Uh, again, again, there's so much to Google Analytics. I'm just giving you, you know, a taste of an overview of everything and in the slides there's you know other things that i share with you that you'll be able to to see so retention is essentially you know returning users you want to see what what's what's happening what who's coming back that's really important um you know keeping your retention up driving traffic maintaining that is key so it's showing you all of that information the insight so we kind of just skimmed over all of the main sections of it all Right. There's there's obviously way more to it. Uh, I, I, I kind of, again, touched on some of the sections again in your slides, you will see visuals for different tools and resources that are available. Um, uh, in here for you, the structure, you'll learn about where the demo account where all the different tools. So I have in here some things for you to, to kind of like go through. So this is your tracking code, when I went, which I went over a little bit earlier, finding the tracking code, um, you know, the importance of analytics, how to link to your other Google products, um, integrating your Google Analytics keywords. So all of the steps are on here on what you need to do, okay? Um, and we kind of did all these. So I think that's a wrap. Garba, I'll turn it over to you um, and, and actually see if there's any anybody has questions. Um, David, thank you very much for a wonderful presentation. Um, we have like a couple of minutes left before we wrap it up uh, for the day. Um, as usual, this goes to our wonderful um, um, attendees. I just posted a 30 second survey about today's um, webinar. Remember, we at Temple SPDC, we always cherish your feedbacks, even as it helps us to improve on the services we provide to you guys at a low cost. So kindly take out your time and help us to fill out the survey. Um, even as we continue monitoring um, the Q&A and the chat box um, to see if further question comes up, I just want to use this opportunity to thank uh, each and every one of you guys for keeping it a day to us. Uh, thank you, Mr. David, for your time, for all the efforts. I love the presentation. I love the participation. I love the way our, you know, attendees participated. Myself, personally, I've learned a lot today, and I am very sure all our attendees have also learned the same. 
Uh, in addition to this, I just want to thank once again my term, my fellow Temple SPDC colleague for the encouragement, you know, hard work, you know, assistance in one or two ways to make sure that this webinar comes into existence. Thank you once again. Um, I think. Oh, so the, the, the link. Yeah. Still looking at the charts, you know, to see if we've got. Yeah, someone is kind of asking. Adams David. Oh yeah, the the saying the link the link is now working for the uh um the survey. It looks like. Oh, that it's not working. Yeah, some people are saying it's a broken. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Please, if um the link isn't working, please. My bad. Uh, you will definitely get the link on the follow up emails I will be sending to you guys in, let's say, like two hours from now. Cool. Yeah. yeah I think Samuel asked if uh will we be able to see this webinar replay later? Um. You know. Um. Um. You will have access a link to the recording. Definitely, it will be attached to the mail I will be sending to you guys. And in addition to that, if you want to watch it on, you know, YouTube Live, you can go to our channel at SPDC. You know, it will be live there. You just click on it, and you have access to everything. Um. So, um yeah. Thank you, thank you, Garber, and thank you, everyone. Yeah, uh, in the absence of everything, in the absence of no any other question, and the absence of any one that will come after the presentation, I just want to say thank you guys and do have a nice weekend. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, yeah. Bye.